Hey there, Greeny here. In this video, I want to give you a quick guide on how to use my variable lift speed package that allows us to create lifts just like the one we see here with different speeds on the same lift. You can download the package either on my website or on the Steam Workshop. And if you download it on the Steam Workshop, make sure to also read the guide on how to install DLCs that you downloaded from the Steam Workshop in your own park. Link to it is in the video description. The first thing you have to do to use this package, you have to go to your coaster properties, go to mode and make sure that the operation mode is set to scripted block system. This package will not work in closed circuit or shuttle mode. If you don't know how to create your own block script, you can use the custom block logic builder from Bestani, link to the download as well as a how-to tutorial on how to use it in the video description down below. Once you have set up your ride either with the block logic builder or with a custom block script, we now have to place the variable lift speed package object in our park. To do this, we go to the scenery tab, then click choose, select the download a package and in there select the setup variable lift speed object. Then we hit add object and we place it next to our lift. There's no specific reason that it needs to be next to the lift. It could be placed anywhere, but it makes sense to keep the object that is setting up a lift next to it. Once we have placed the object, we need to open the properties and we do this by simply double clicking on it. The first setting that we have to choose is on what right we want to affect the lift speed. So this would be right, this is my coaster's name. Then we select which section, which lift section we want to configure. In my case, this one is the first lift, so it has the name of lift one. And then there is the first speed setting. This is the entry speed. This is the speed of the lift when a train is entering the lift. So let's set this to five miles per hour. And for every one of you who is not used to working in miles per hour, there's a setting to convert to kilometers per hour. And when I tick that, all speeds that you enter in the settings will be now considered kilometers per hour rather than miles per hour. Next up is set entry speed to train speed. When we tick this setting, the entry speed will be overwritten with whatever speed the train has at the moment of entering the lift. This is useful when you want to ensure that the chain is running at the exact same speed as the train when entering the lift section. In my case, we're not going to use this. We're going to use enable chain hook sequence. Since we are building somewhat of a Gerstlauer style vertical lift, what this sequence does is it makes sure that the train is coming to a complete stop at the beginning of the lift, then gives the train a little push and then slowly starts to speed up the lift until it reaches the entry speed. And with those basic settings done, we're now coming to the actual variable lift speeds of a lift. The basic way how this works is it uses track triggers to listen if a train has crossed the trigger and if a train crosses the trigger, the lift will then speed up to the defined speed in the settings. To do this, we of course first need to set some speed triggers. To do this, unfreeze the coaster, then set some triggers. So right now we're going to do a full stop here. Then we will start to speed up to five kilometers per hour. And then let's say when we are on the vertical stretch or when we reach the vertical stretch, we want to speed up to another speed and once we reach the crest we want to speed down again and slow down before we drop into the first drop so we set a second trigger all right then we go back to the settings and set up trigger one which is right trigger one and say once you reach this trigger we want to speed up to let's say 12 kilometers per hour then when we reach the second trigger which would be trigger two we want to slow down to a speed of eight kilometers per hour which we use to get over the crest so let's jump into the simulation and see if it works it is making a full stop we're getting a slight push now the chain is speeding up to the entry speed and now we are reaching the first track trigger which will speed up to the desired speed before we hit the second trigger now that will speed down the entire lift so we go slowly over the top of the lift and into the first drop so that worked just fine but here's the thing that you need to make sure you do when you set up your lift we have set 
the speed of trigger number one to be 12 kilometers per hour. In order to actually reach this speed, you need to make sure that the actual lift has a higher speed than the speed you want to reach. Because if we try to reach a speed of 15 kilometers per hour, but the device only allows us to go to, let's say, nine, we will not reach our full speed as we need to have a lift that is faster than the custom lift speed that we define inside here. And we have set up our first lift with variable lift speeds. I really hope this package helps you in creating new coasters. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys do with it because there are some interesting experimental things you can do with it. For example, you can make your lift speed dependent on a track trigger that was triggered on a different roller coaster. So let's say if you want to time your dueling coasters, you can do that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you build with it. And if this guy was helpful, let me know. Uh, write a comment below this video or something. And now uh, go ahead and uh, watch one of my roller coasters I built in No Limits, because that's probably what's right now on the end screen. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Greeny. This is Coaster Talk, and I hope it helped. Bye-bye.